What's going on everyone? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you two super easy yet super awesome transitions you can do right in Premiere Pro. So let's not waste any time and let's jump right into the computer. But not literally, because you can't actually jump into the computer. Don't try it. All right, so the first one I'm gonna be showing you looks like this. Now let's jump in and how to do this. Now this is the footage that I have already, nothing special. So what I'm gonna do to start making this transition is start just cutting frames of the first clip. About 10 individual frames. Then what we're gonna do is just delete every other frame. This one's super simple. So then this is what you end up with. And from here, it's pretty much finished, but what we're gonna do to top it off is add a sound effect. Now, I personally like riser sort of sound effects like this one, but we're gonna make the audio match the video perfectly. So again, with this, we're going to just cut out each individual frame and delete each individual frame of the audio. So then this is what you end up with. Now, I really do like this transition in particular when there's a situation that's getting more intense or you have a certain build in your edit, I really like this transition. But that is the first transition move. Let's move on right into the second one. So as for the second transition, this is what it looks like. Now let me show you how to do that really quick. So what you're gonna wanna do is go over to your effects, search for transform, and drop the transform onto both of your clips here. Now as you can see at first, it's gonna do absolutely nothing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the last frame of the first clip and count back about three frames. So right to there. And then we're gonna turn on keyframing for scale and rotation. And make sure you turn the keyframing on in the transform tab. Now you may ask, why do I turn these on in the transform tab instead of the motion tab? Because with the motion tab, you're not gonna be able to add motion blur. So that's why we do it in the transform. Now from here, what we're gonna do is just go to the last frame and turn our scale up to 125 and our rotation up to 10. So you can see this is what we have so far. Now again, it doesn't look quite right. So what we're gonna need to do is add some motion blur into this. So in our transform tab, we're gonna click, uncheck this for use composition shutter angle and turn the shutter angle all the way up to 360. So then this is what you end up with. All right, so that one's pretty much done there. Now we're gonna have to work on the second clip a little bit. We're gonna go into the second clip and starting with this, you're gonna turn on keyframes for rotation and scale right at the first frame. And for rotation on this, we're gonna turn it to negative 10 and leave scale where it is. Advance forward about three frames, turn the rotation from negative 10 to zero. So then it starts out sort of angled and ends up correct and it's gonna have to end in it with it scaled up a little bit, but that's okay. So then this is what we have so far. And again, it doesn't look quite right because we don't have any motion blur. So again, we're gonna use composition shutter angle, turn that off and turn up the shutter angle to 360. So then this is what your final result's gonna look like. But that is pretty much it for this video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button down below. But like I said, that's it for this one and I will see you later.